how to make the WordPress editor look like your front-end website, that amazing place where you write and format so much of your content. It's supposed to be what you see is what you get. But while it does showcase basic styling in real time, it's not truly this way because the formatting in the visual tab of WordPress editor doesn't actually match how your content looks on front-end website. As a result, you are forced to hit the preview button over and over to see how your post will look once published. But what if there were a better way? A way that let you skip the incessant alt tabbing and previewing and see your final product right in the WordPress editor. Unfortunately, unlike customizing the WordPress admin, there aren't any plugins that will make your WordPress editor automatically emulate your front-end website. That means you'll need to dig in and get your hands a little dirty. But I promise you, I'll make this as painless as possible. And when you are done, you'll have the satisfactory feeling of making your WordPress editor look like this. To make this change, you'll need to use something called Stylesheet. These are the files in your WordPress theme that end with .css. They essentially control how your site looks. By default, your front-end WordPress site has one set of stylesheets included with your theme, and the WordPress editor has its own separate stylesheet. That's why the WordPress editor looks different from your front-end site it's running off a different set of style rules. To make them look the same, you'll need to edit the style rules for the WordPress editor. Unfortunately, that means that you will need to know at least some basic CSS. But like I said, I'm going to try to make this as painless as possible. Now that you know the main goal, I'll take you through the four steps you need to complete. For this example, I'll use Tmiles free Zyla theme, but you should be able to follow the exact same steps no matter which WordPress theme you are using. Step number one is to create a custom stylesheet for the WordPress editor. Actually, I take that back. The first step you need to complete is to backup your WordPress site. Only after you have a safe backup of your site should you proceed with the rest of the steps. Now you need to create an empty stylesheet called customeditorstyle.css. To do this, you can just open a new document with Notepad or an equivalent program and save it as .css file like this. You'll add your custom CSS to this stylesheet. Simple enough so far, right? Step number two is about adding CSS to editor stylesheet to mimic your theme. Now is where things might get a little tricky. This is unfortunately the part where you need to know some CSS. In this step, you need to add all of the necessary CSS code to the stylesheet you just created, so that your WordPress editor can properly emulate your front-end website. One way to do this is to actually browse through the stylesheet.css located in your themes folder. But that would require you to be a CSS ninja and only select certain bits of code. Thankfully, there's an easier way using Google Chrome's developer tools. First, you need to go to a post on your live site. Then, right-click on an element in your post and click Inspect. For example, I've created a post that uses both a h2 tag and a regular p tag. The developer tool window should pop up on the right of your screen. You need to find the relevant style in the style box. See how it says h1, h2, h3 at the top? That's how you know it's the style you need to copy. Then, you need to copy the whole style and add it to the blank style sheet you created for the WordPress editor. Repeat this process for every element in your post. That means you'll need to right-click and inspect regular texts, links, images, bullet lists, etc. 
Essentially, you need to follow this process for anything that you want to replicate the style of. I know this is a little tedious, but it's the best way unless you know enough CSS to dig through your theme's style sheet or create CSS code from scratch. Step number 3 is about uploading the new style sheet to your themes folder via FTP. Once you've finished adding all of the necessary styles, you need to use an FTP program to upload your new style sheet, the one called custom editor style.css, to your themes folder. You can find your themes folder by going to WP Content, Themes and Theme Name. Upload your style sheet in the same theme folder as other files like function.php and stylesheet.css. The final step is about telling the WordPress editor to use this custom style sheet. Now you just need to add some code to the functions.php file of your theme, ideally child theme, to tell the WordPress editor to use the custom style sheet that you created. To do that, go to Appearance, Editor, Functions.php. Then add this code snippet to the bottom of your functions.php file. And here's what the file looks like. Don't worry, this code comes from the official WordPress.org repository and does nothing more than connect the WordPress editor with your new style sheet. Once you've added the code snippet, just save your changes and you should see your front-end styles when using the WordPress editor. That's it! 